Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of our Monster Train series. We are still um, doing a lot of unlocks here. We still haven't unlocked the fifth clan. We haven't finished any of the unlocks on any of the particular clans here. So we are going to run again on Covenant Zero as we do that. I hit random and I got primary clan Stygian allied clan Hellhorn. So we're only level five in the Stygian, uh, Hellhorn level eight. And yeah, there's still one more clan we haven't unlocked yet. I think we just had, we had to summon a bunch of creatures or kill a bunch of creatures. It's one of the two. I think it's summon a bunch. So it's mostly just on a bit of a clock there. Um, so the last run, if I'm recalling correctly, I think it was Hellhorn Stygian because I think we have the same spells, but we had the Hellhorn champion instead of the Stygian one. I don't know if the primary and secondary clan, um, if it waits the number of packs we get when we open, because we're going to get some some packs from both. I don't know if we're going to get more Stygian or not. No idea. Uh, but if nothing else, the big impact is the difference in the champion. Now, by himself, he has this Titan Bane over here. It's just a 5'3". Um, he's only size 1, so he's easy to fit in things, but he's not very powerful. But what can we get for these unlocks? We could make him a Conduit, which would make the damage spells on this floor free. Now, we know that the Stygian have a lot of incant stuff. And up until now, we haven't really made powerful use of that. The Conduit build would, I think, definitely encourage us to lean in that direction. Really spam the hell out of spells. Uh, the minus one cost means we'd probably take the extra draw thing. Uh, so we can just spam them like crazy. On the other hand, God damn, I really like the frostbite mechanics. I so love the frostbite mechanics. I'm going to have a hard time saying no to this. Okay, I should just force myself. I wonder what the extra levels are. Is it more negative energy? Is it... Well, you know what? Now I need to know. Damn it. I'm going con. I love the frostbite stuff. Oh, it hurts. It hurts my heart not to go for it. Uh, but we're going to do that. Units cost minus two. Okay. So if we're going to be spamming a lot of spells, token of a traitor certainly... Um, seems to have a lot of synergy right that right that right playing a spell deals two damage to a random enemy on that floor It's not a ton of damage, but it will help us potentially get lucky and pick off um, Some of the little weenies uh, of things which is kind of cool on the other hand Forever flame We can end up with a deck where basically everything costs zero and Really go crazy for anything that might generate extra draws <clears throat> here's the thing i'm not sure how important the two damage to random enemy is this almost feels more useful if a lot of our spells weren't damage spells because basically if we need to kill a you know a one hp creature or something like that we'll probably just torch it rather than hope to yolo with it i'm gonna take this you know because we don't know what cards we're gonna get we don't know you know retroactively we'll know which one of those two would have been the most useful to grab but right at this moment we don't know which of the two would effectively be more useful but i'm kind of curious about can we make some sort of infinite draw deck? Now, it is only damage spells that get minus one. So we'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> Excuse me. First defense, uh, spikes three. Well, even our, our hero doesn't have a whole lot of hit points. We don't really have a way to go through this armor. I can zap this guy, that's fine. But having this thing be at 30 HP right now in spikes three is probably is probably not something we can handle with what we've got, unfortunately. Damn, and I really like the early gold, because it snowballs so much, but I think that would murder us in the face. Um so meanwhile, so we'll do this, which makes these free, which is cool. Um we'll torch you. I think I'm gonna put a couple of train train stewards in front of you. And then, otherwise, we'll just go ahead and do that. And we still have three energy left over. Kind of awesome. Okay. Well, we probably will just spell you. It won't be free, but that's going to be okay. Um, let me drop you here, which will take care of you. I'm just going to torch you. That's going to be fine. And then down here, we're going to torch you. And frozen lance and torch as well. Oh, you were already dead, so it didn't matter. Okay. But we're going to clean up all this. We're going to take two damage on our front steward, but that's okay. Brief respite. Um, I'll drop another train steward here, and then nothing else matters. Okay. <clears throat> so, we're going to torch you. There we go, and now you're dead. Woo! I may as well zap you anyway. Okay. Boom. 
Now, what's nice about this is if we do get, like, the demon that costs four or something in one of these packs, we're going to be happy to grab it. Now, this is a damaging spell, so it should be free, right? And it's got the offering tech possibility, but... I think that works. Um... Okay, none of these are damaging. We could grab this just to be just to have the freebies, right? <clears throat> we could load our deck more aggressively than creatures than we normally will. The other thing is there's a couple of effects, uh, spells that do impact, like sacrifice an imp or deal damage based on the number of imps you have, which are more damaging spells, which we want to be be free. I think we're going with a very flood-oriented build here, so I'm gonna grab that. I don't know. I don't know how viable this is. It's our first time trying this, right? But let's let's throw it in and see what we can get. Um. More units, I've really found it important to grab an extra unit early on because you don't have that much oomph unless you've got another quality unit. On the other hand, with our spell-centric stuff, it would be nice to do the upgrade, plus it would be nice to get the extra money right now, but I think it makes more sense to go here. Oh, I should have checked the shop, for, for shop first in case it changed anything. Um, I mean, Frostbite... Okay, they both have Sweep, which is great. The Cold Kalia here has more hit points, which is nicer. And we know Frostbite's pretty good. It will Frostbite the entire group, too. On the other hand, with our focus on spells... I guess we'll go with this. Right? If we're going to be grabbing a lot of damaging spells... Okay, so what do we got here? Um, Large Stone... Okay, Incant, we know we're going to be casting a lot of spells, so Incant's going to be a good one. Health. Large Stone might be a little tricksy. Although, we probably should put it on a Sweeper. Yeah, no, we gotta do that. We gotta give it to you. Because then you're gonna be sweeping for so much more, and all of a sudden you're gonna be strong enough to be a good frontline tank. Um... I mean, the Encant is nice, but 25 hit points is just gonna be better, right? Like, let's say I wanna make this Sweeper more tanky. There's something he said about, um making just adding more damage so that's sweep right make it uh quick or multi-attack or or something um which would be really nice but the thing is right now i think we kind of need the silophyte to sit in front of tethys so i think we're just going to give her more hit points the armor there and the thing is even if we're going to be casting a bunch of spells like i would have to cast 25 spells to gain as much armor from runestone as i would from heartstone now, this might be able to get targeted by something that doubles your armor, or we might draft a spell that does damage based on armor. But it still feels like the Heartstone is just a smarter thing to do in a vacuum. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to put it on the Silo Fight, because then it's going to be tough enough to really tank for everything else on the floor. Um, I, pr I feel like I probably should just do the Runestone anyway, because it's there. I can't re-roll. I could Purge. But I don't know if we're, we need the Purge as much. Like, yeah, the Train Stewards are kind of crap, but they are still kind of just free. Free and disposable right now. Not great for tempo and drawing other things. I don't know, maybe Purging a Train Steward does make more sense. We can grab more of the spells, which we can recycle over and over. Yeah, you know what? I think I've convinced myself. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay. I can see arguments for both in my head, which is why I was debating it. But I felt both sides had merit, and it's hard to tell which one's better. Um, enemy units appear on each floor. I'm totally willing to um to, to take that. That's going to be okay. The Steel Slate. Did, have I seen this guy before? That spikes and very armored. The, the art feels different. I'm not sure. Um, right, Sinner's Burden, Forge Disciple. Okay, that's going to be fine. Now, which one of the dudes are? I think in the tooltip for the dudes, it doesn't actually show it. There's always there's two flavors. It's either the ones who come in with Rage, which is what we've got, or it's the one where Waving Die, they give extra stuff. Um, could kill people with a sweep. I'm going to put you here. I'm going to put you in front. We'll sweep this group and the next group. And then down here, we will put down Pethys. Um, I'll put a disposal train steward in front to tank for you, and then we're just gonna torch you. I like this. And we still have three energy left over.
That does, like, you know, load the top floor with a lot of stuff, and normally I like to put it on the bottom, but this seems to be okay. Um, I think we are going to do this. We are once again going to torch you. I don't care that you die. Everything hill is going to be killed. I could minimize a little bit of the damage that goes on the silo fight. Uh, well, let's see. If I do this, then you're dead. Question is, I could have bopped you, but I guess that doesn't matter. You're, you're too damaged. This will be more damage. So, yeah, let me go ahead and torch and frozen lance. It's not free, but that's okay. I'm betting at some point before this end of the run, I'm going to cast a damage spell on the wrong floor and run out of energy because, like, I'll look at, like, oh, it's all free. I can do this and this and this, and then I'll do it, except because of the floor problems, I'm going to lose that. But yeah, the Crypt Builder. Oh, yeah, it's just minus one. It doesn't make him free. But still, having this cost, too, is pretty nice. And we, um... There is things that let you draw and discard and stuff like that, and I think we are going to want some draw and some card cycling and all that kind of jazz, so. Um, I guess I'll do that. And then the rest doesn't matter. Well, actually, I guess I could just kill you so you don't do any damage at all. Here, we'll use the big one. Whee! Okay. All right, so this guy's here with his spikes. We're not going to do much damage as is. Um, I know I'm going to bop this one. I think, yeah, well, we're just going to unload spells in this guy. Try to weak him in as much as possible. The top floor is really where our damage is. But no more free spells for us, unfortunately. Um, yeah. I mean, I may as well just spend all my energy on this. Especially since it'll kill him, but mathematically it's the, the way to get the most damage. I mean, that's the thing. Three, dam three, um, three mana, or three energy is expensive, but it's a hell of a lot more efficient than casting, you know, the others. Um, so there's draw, like I was talking about, right? Um, it also synergizes well if we do pick up some more incant. On the other hand, we just keep grabbing damage. I'm wondering about the helical crystal. Crystal is here. It'll cost one on the bottom floor. And it's a really good one to buff. If we can give this more spell power, it just becomes a death machine. I think I like taking this. Um, and you would be free. Do we want the Ascend Tech? I mean, partially, partly, yeah, because we know the Ascend Tech is crazy good. But I kind of want... I kind of want to do impy things. We keep talking about wanting to do an impy related deck, and now it's time. Okay, uh, Pyre Health we don't need, so here it's a unit upgrade, which is nice, but spell upgrades, I think, even more compatible with what we're doing, plus we get an extra unit, and either way we get the cave. So we're going to do this. I'll grab the unit first. I don't remember what these normally cost, like if one's a bigger discount. I think they're both one each, though. So. Right, Rage and Slay... I think this is the better pick for us. Yeah. I mean, you will come in and do a lot more damage up front. But I think I like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade spells in case we get an ability to copy spell or copy cards from the event. In which case I'm going to want to buff a spell. So there we go. Like, with magic power we're here, you see permafrost and aura on car. Maybe for some things it's good. But, like, if we power stone this thing, now it hits for 35 twice. Um, I think, ooh, as I said, I could Emberstone this, because it'll cost one, and sometimes it'll cost zero. But I think I really, I think I'm going to re-roll for power. Um, we don't have a spell with Consume. So, all right, it's a little bit boring here, but we're just going to go and do this. So, forty-five twice. Um... Want to purge train steward? Yes, I do. We're gonna be a little lean on creatures, but I think that's okay. All right. Which one is it? Oh, it's the one where I have to leave a card behind. Now, okay. Last time we gave him a unit, and the unit came back with revenge plus one strength. Which is okay, but not too impressive. Do we want to try magic and see what happens? And if so, we want to risk it with a power spell. Do we want to go and give him the Helical Chrysalis? We'll be without it for, I think it was two fights. I don't know what the upgrades might be. If it gives it power, it might just give it like minus one cost or something, but I don't know. There's probably, there might be a range of things. There's probably a wiki that's got it. I'm going to YOLO it this time. And I'm going to risk it 
I mean, maybe it could be this, although if this becomes cheaper, is it as meaningful? And if it's an extra mod? Yeah, I'm gonna... I, this is this is very, very risky. But let's find out what happens. Very risky, because we did just weaken our deck substantially here. And last time it wasn't all that impressive, but we're gonna give him one more chance. And then after this, we'll probably double-check a wiki or something to see what the, the possibilities are. I'm assuming there's one for this game at this point. Uh, is that on unit death deal one unit damage? Yeah, okay. And then we've got a boom over there, which we can more or less ignore. These guys did come in with rage, but we're going to be able to um, knock them down really easily. We're definitely going to do that. No, no, you have a... Yeah, and can't. No, we don't have anything like that. Um, and then we can only put one dude in here. I suppose we may as well put this, because we could apply um, spell weakness that we'll, you know, stack on we'll be able to cast on another floor afterwards, which seems okay. We're going to put you here, and there we go. Once again, we end the first turn with three energy. I think, right? Yeah. Get rid of you. Frozen Lance, you too. You know, you're taking a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Uh, I will boop you, and then uh, I'm going to boo that, just for extra damage, rather than helping the tank. That's fairly tanky. Um, we'll probably torch that. Okay, that's a for sure. Unless, since I can't kill this guy with spells, right? He's going to die regardless, and I can't kill him with spells. Why don't I just torch the boss, and I'll just Frozen Lance to kill this thing? Yeah, I like that. And then I'll just throw you down over there. Yeah. And then you got to charge a spell weakness now, which is great. I definitely want to torch this thing, because that's a lot of damage. Uh, that's Rage, but I can still... It's Soak an attack by doing that. I could also just armor up a bench, and then I'd get to Soak all four attacks, actually. Not like adding right... You know what? I will do that. There you go. Because you're going to... Uh, okay, you're only tank three of them, but I can kill one. That's going to be okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the Imp down here to get some Rage, so we apply extra damage to this guy. Very nice. Um, I'm going to Frozen Lance here. That way you definitely don't take any damage. And then over here, I'm going to spend all three to hit him for 120. Alrighty. Boom, boom, boom. Go to the top, put that down. Uh, we probably just torch you. And then we... Oops. Well, that doesn't matter. We torch you. And then... Zap you for a little more. Final way. Um, well, I guess we're going to just apply all the damage to you. And you're dead. If he wasn't dead, he would have had a lot of spell weakness for the next floor. Okay, we're going to get our crystal here, and I think we're going for plus one draw. It's not a damaging spell. This could be really useful. Um, hold on. Enhance all spells in hand with plus five power. Yes! There's an encant. Draw one and it loses health. Ooh. But it's meant to be just disposable and sort of a frontline tank. And the draw could be really good for us. On the other hand, another one of these sweepers. And that's actually pretty good. No, let's try to do that. I'm not convinced this is the best pick. I'm not. But I'm going to try to lean into this sort of idea. Uh, and yes, we're going to draw plus one. I was going to say, at least it's free, but I think that one's always free. Okay, so there's health, which we don't need. Duplicating's cool, removing's cool. Money into artifact, into unit, I think, though, is going to have to be better. I mean, we're not going to do anything with the money right now. Now, the duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Well, if we had, if we got our card back, then I might have duplicated that, the uh, the spell, because of all the upgrades. Yeah, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go left. I'm going to do this. 
Uh, let's grab an artifact first and see what's the deal. Rage plus one stacks. When a card play consume is played, deal 30 damage. Hmm. I mean, we have rage from this. We don't have much rage generation. But we also currently don't have any consume. We'll likely end up with some. And 30 damage is pretty good. Alright, I'm going to grab this. Fuck. So, this is basically uh, gain 2 damage every time you cast a spell. This is only 1, but it's also got health. Since we don't have any Rage Synergy right now, which we could have, um, if we did have Rage Synergy, I'd probably grab this, but I think the Siren C will be a little more balanced. Although, she does start with less attack. Less attack and less health. Yeah, it builds up. It would actually build... Okay, so five spells makes her as good of a base as this one. Whereas after five spells, this one is just dealing massive pots of damage. Okay. Ah, see that? I'm not sure this is as ex exciting. So it's going to go for, to minus one, minus two, and presumably minus three at the end. Um, like, yeah, technically, I mean, this costs three, so it would go down to a one. The other one costs two, it would go down to a zero. But I'm not... Con minus one is big. I don't know if we need the minus two right now. So th instead, what I think I'm going to do is go for the chill wind over here. So now we're going to start applying frostbite. We don't have any frostbite tech right now, but we might pick it up. Now, in hindsight, if I realized it was there, maybe I would have duplicated the 60 damage for three and just, like, committed to that. Non-boss enemies get multi-strike. Random artifact! Now, yeah, we're going to clearly have to kind of zap the marksman because they could do a lot of damage multi-strike. He's still going to do four, and uh, on incant, get ten armor. So he's going to actually be really hard to kill on the floors where he shows up. But an artifact... I don't have my other spell back. All right, the Trader's Quill does nothing for us right now. Why didn't I just take the, the other one? Because usually you end up with Consume. I don't know. That's pretty stupid. Is it? I don't know. No, I still like my reasoning. I'm a little salty now because A, we picked up something that um, that is generating Rage. Uh, and B, I don't have anything with Consume yet, but I'm assuming we will. I really want the random artifact, but I'm kind of worried that it's not a good idea. I'm going to say no. Oh, God, I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. Let's fight four, okay. Now, no, I'm still going to go and do this on this floor. We're going to have you up front. Well, you're two, so there's not enough room uh, for me to put you in there. Now, still, this is okay. Um, may as well do that. I'll put you down. you get 10 extra armor but we'll take six less damage probably better and the frozen lance i don't want to use because he'll just come out ahead he does have frostbite on him which is nice okay so we're gonna have double encants on this floor at least for now um we'll do that so you're dead that's fine and i can ignore you because you'll die on that floor So I should torch you. Unless I do want to go ahead and encant over here. I'm giving him armor, but who cares, right? Uh so he's got 29 HP. He's gonna have only eight right now. If I cast another spell, he'll have 18, which means I won't be able to kill over here. So I'll leave that there. Okay. And I'll just weaken this guy, I guess. Alright.
ideally it'd be nice to have him on the bottom floor or whatever, but the sweeper somewhere else, I don't know. Okay, enhance all spells in hand with plus five magic. So what I should do is I should cast on this spell, or on this floor, because the enchants. Dead, you're dead, you're dead. Um, applying rage to someone. Did I just save you? Nah, that's silly. We may as well put you down. Um, how badly do I want you to die? Yeah, I guess I want you up front to die, because then I'll have room for a steward later on. I guess I'm going to have to unload my spells on the bottom floor. Yeah, this would be so much nicer if you were on the same floor as Tethys. We're going to try to see if we can arrange that later on. Eat that. You're both dead. Um, I guess I will still do this. We take no damage here. And you do have room over here. Well, I'll put you in behind. Okay. You have the encant armor thing. On the other hand, if I just do this, you can't encant when you're dead. Oh, um, yeah, I should have done that. Do here for the card draw. Zap you for free. And then we're out of juice. Um. No, we'll do that. And I don't think there's any reason to go and do some draws here. Not. Uh, I mean, we might be able to draw back and harness the Titan lose hit points as it goes. One more. Oh, okay. We need mana to cast the last thing anyway. There's the harness. Um, so, well, oh, you're dead anyway. So, it was interesting to see what we could do. But, yeah, you're already dead, so... GG! Thump, 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 thump. Hooray! Alright. Uh, this is great. I mean, we want consumes because of this, and this is going to be really useful to what we're doing. Really useful. Batting Ram, I'm assuming counts as a damaging spell. Although... Are we really going to have enough armor for that? And it's only minus one cost to the damaging spells. I think it's worth grabbing a March of the Shields, actually. It'd actually be really handy to cast on some of our encant stuff, too. Alright, we're getting our spell back. Hooray! Oh. Oh! I can tell him to hold on to it and wait and hold on to it longer. I missed that last time. Adds a copy to your discard pile when played. Oh. No, I'm going to take this now. That's going to be pretty good. So we're getting more and more copies of that. It's, I mean, they're not going to be free, but they're going to deal huge damage. Yeah, I'm going to be fine with that one. Um, duplicate. Make more copies of that. Remove money. Health we don't need. Upgrade. I mean, there's certainly some upgrades, and I like the random event, but I think we're going to come over here. Um, I think we're going to remove the last two train stewards. And they're no longer needed. We're going to be a little creature light, but... The creatures we have seem to do the job okay. Could upgrade you, but I think we're going to lean into this idea. And then we're going to end up with lots of copies that... Well, actually, maybe I shouldn't have because, you know, the spells come back anyway, but I kind of want to spam the frack out of that. Uh, Alright, they get more attack. Which will be a little dangerous with the sweeper. On the other hand, we've got some nuke stuff now. I've skipped a lot of these. Yeah, we're just going to hopefully be able to use spells to murder these guys fast enough. Um, we know we want you. Oh, this is going to work out beautifully. We can get you with an encanter, get you up front to tank a little bit more. Um, unfortunately, we're still going to die to that sweep. Uh, that was dumb. And a big mistake. I forgot about the sweep. And I forgot that my guys were being so squishy, you know? Uh, we've got another encant over here already.
Um, let me do this. I go to draw more damage spells is the idea. Uh, you have magic weakness. Uh, all right. You have the sweep and the slay. Yeah, we need to do some huge damage down here. I'm just gonna let you go up to the top. That's gonna be fine. You lose a tick, but that's going to be okay. We'll do one of those. Alright. Yeah, the sweep is make and, and this is actually being devastatingly bad for us. So it's all damage in hand. Uh, right, we don't have any can anymore, so it doesn't matter where I cast this. But we can kill you, so that's fine. Now the one downside is I can't cast this in between rounds of whatever, you know? Um, I could march a shield you so you could survive one round of attacks, so but that's only going to be 10 damage. Which is going to be better than the torch, though, so... I guess we'll do that. At least this will give you some spell weakness stacks. Torch does more damage. Alright, two stacks of spell weakness. Um, is it going to double both aspects of this? Is it going to hit it for 90 twice? At the very least, it's going to hit it for 90 once. So it's minimum 135. Hopefully it's actually 180, which is still better than... Uh, oh, we don't have the other one anyway. Um, I guess I should harness the Titan first. It doesn't actually matter. We're not going to cast another spell here. So plus 5 is going to be more to this, especially with the multipliers. Okay, we'll harness... Oh, he is going to die. And it is 150 twice. Good. Okay. That was, um, there was a lot of bad that happened there, and a lot of it started because I effed up the, uh, the sweep on the first floor. Um, we're going to grab this again. Spell weakness, another consume effect. I mean, if we took the traitor's quill, which maybe I was influenced because I had the word quill in it, but if I took that, you know, I should probably lead into that. So this is a damage spell. Sacrifice an imp. This, though, is number of imps in your deck. So even if I don't have one out, yeah, I think this is better here. So it's 30 damage right now. It should be free. It's got good synergy with other things we're doing. And yeah, we'll probably be fine with grabbing some other imps. I like Artifact. Uh, yeah, there's some spell upgrades to be done. More money. We have no shortage of that. I like the caves. Remove two I'm not as concerned about removing cards. I think we will come over here. And we're going to start by taking a look at what this artifact is. Units have another upgrade slot. Randomized cost... Don't really know how that interacts with us. Uh, in hindsight, well, we should be able to pick. Oh, I can't scroll. We should be able to pick another. Oh, I need to put a cut in here. I'm going to do that now. Um, but I was going to say we should be able to pick another count cost discount thing for our leader. In which case, the volatile gauge actually might make a super amount of sense. I think it does. I'm going to put a cut in here though. I'm going to give it some think, and we'll be back next time. Bye bye.